Hey YouTube yogis, Tina here, outdoors in Tina's Yoga Room 2.0. Thanks for joining me today. Now if you are feeling at all stressed or anxious or just need a nice easy kind of exercise, this class is for you. We're going to focus on holding some poses slightly longer than usual so you get a nice deep stretch and we will not be doing anything advanced. We'll start seated exactly as I am here, one chin in front of the other. Hands are going to rest down on the tops of the legs, close the eyes. Now if you are able to take this class outdoors with you, just listen to the surroundings. I can hear the wind blowing in the trees, the birds chirping in the background, even a little bit of traffic from cars. Focus on the surrounding noises as a way to step out of the mind, to step away from your day. Add some breaths, deeper inhales, fuller exhales. Let's take this into some spinal movement with the hands on the knees. You're going to pull your chest forward. Let the gaze shift higher. With your next exhale, you're going to tuck the tailbone under, pull the knees up, tuck chin to chest. Then move between those two shapes with your breath. Gentle movement for the spine. Starting to link movement with breath. Letting go of everything else around you. And come back to center. Right hand is going to come off the side of the mat, so I'm not mirroring you. Left arm sweeps up, take a walk over to add a side body stretch, the gaze can lift. As you come back up, that left hand will slice across to right knee, and now the right arm can reach behind you. It can stay lifted in the air, or you can always drop it down behind you. Now as you come forward, let the hands come out in front of you and then walk them out. So you might be with straighter arms, not going very far, or you could take it all the way down to the forearms. You could even outstretch the hands and bring the crown of the head or the forehead all the way down to the earth. Walk yourself back up. Now you're bringing the other leg in front. Take a hold of the knees. Let's start once again by pulling your heart forward. Feel yourself rock forward on the pelvis. Make a lot of space for collarbones, chest, heart. And then the exhale to tuck it all in, curl in at center. And then you keep moving, inhaling and exhaling some movement to the spine. And then come back to center, left hand off the side of the mat. 
right arm up and over the gazes under lifted arm. As you come back up, we find the twist, right hand over to that left thigh and the left arm reaching back. Again, that hand can drop down if you found that on the first side. And come all the way back to center. Now the hands out in front of you, you take a walk forward again. and then come back up. From here, we'll find your downward facing dog. So the hands come to the top end of the mat. Let the feet step back and the hips raise up. Bend the knees really deeply. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And then one at a time, one heel drops down towards the mat so you feel length in the calf, the heel and the hamstring. And then bend both knees deeply and let that opposite heel now drop down with a straighter leg. And we're moving with the breath. So bending knees on exhale and then an inhale to extend. Take a few more rounds of these with your breath. And when you're done, just come back to center, downward facing dog. Take a look forward and let the feet walk behind each of your wrists. Bend the knees really deeply and let the hands take elbows. Move around here, swaying side to side, shaking and nodding the head. Then we'll come all the way up to standing. So find a rounded spine to allow yourself to roll on up. And then take a big reach of the arms up, inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Walk those toe mounds in towards touch. Let's take a breath in to reach up. And a breath out, hands to heart center. And the knees, add a sweep of the arms up, chair pose. Check in to make sure your tailbone is tucking straight down and the toes are really light here. Relax the shoulders and take some deep breaths. With your next exhale, we're going to dive down and fold. Separate the feet about hips width distance again and bend the knees as much as needed to have the palms out in front of the toes. Take your right hand to the small of the back, bend deeply into your left knee so that you're able to twist open towards the right. Right leg is straight and you have the option to float that right arm into the air. Bend the knees, both hands down, and we'll take it to the other side. So now left hand to the small of the back. We're straightening through that left leg. Nice deep bend in the right knee. Gazing left, and you can float left arm. Bend the knees so both hands Come back down to the earth. Step back to find your high plank pose. Keep those fingers spread nice and wide. Hug navel to your spine. Let's take our first low plank exhale. Upward facing dog, breath in. 
and downward dog exhale those hips nice and high let's step right foot forward to the top of the mat and a drop of the left knee down so you come to your grounded low lunge sweep those arms up on the inhale and we'll take it up and back on the exhale Now tent the hands down out in front of you. Let's tuck the back toes under, lift off of that knee. Now we're gonna lift taller into your high lunge. From here, we'll open to your warrior two. Front knee is nice and bent over that front ankle. Left toes are facing toward the side edge of the mat. Now straighten your front leg. Flip that front palm, reach up and back and reverse your triangle. So feel all that space being created in the right side. And then come back out to your warrior two and one step further side angle. So bring that right elbow to the thigh and now left arm is up and over, getting into that side. Come back up to your warrior two. Now we're going to take a big step, left foot all the way to the top of the mat and connect. Coming to a simple balanced tree pose, hug that right knee in, Allow the knee to open to the side. Foot can go above or below the knee and then palms at heart center. You're free to stay here or those arms can reach up overhead, interlacing the fingers, pressing palms up towards the ceiling, relaxing the shoulders. Then bring hands back down, extend right leg, and then we'll switch to the other side. Let's hug left knee in. Allow the knee to open to the side. Same location for that foot above or below knee, hands to heart. If you took it further, arm sweep, interlace, and press the palms higher. hands to heart. Extend that leg, let the feet rest down, give a quick pedal, and reach those arms up. Pause with a steepa mudra, interlacing fingers, having first fingers dial up. Send the hips forward, but then reach the heart up and take a dive back. And then come forward all the way into a fold. Plank pose, feet will step backwards. Low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths in this downward face. Let the hips be high, shoulders are working arms pressing the mat away from you. Now let's take that left foot, step it forward to the top of the mat. Drop that right knee down so you come into your low lunge. On the inhale, those arms float up and on the exhale, take it back. Then you'll tent the fingertips out in front of you. Tuck the back toes under to lift that knee. Then we take it a little bit higher. Sweep those arms up, high lunge. And then warrior two, that back heel drops down. The hands to the height of the shoulders.
Straighten your front leg, flip that front palm, and reverse your triangle, left arm up and back. Right hand is really light on that back leg. And then come back to warrior two and into side angle, left elbow down, right arm over. Back to warrior two and then we take a big step forward, right foot to the top of the mat and connect hands and toes. Utkatasana chair pose with your next inhale. Now let's take the arms at the low back. Interlace fingers, roll shoulders down away from the ears, knuckles press down while heart lifts up. Now let's take this a little lower. So bend the knees deeper, gaze down by the toes, see if the arms can float off the low back. Working the chest higher than the hips so it's not a forward fold yet. And then you can work on diving down. Knuckles may reach towards the ceiling, head gets heavier, legs can get straighter. Let the hands come down to the floor and take a step back, high plank pose. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's return to sit. So now have the feet out in front of you touching bump the hips close to the heels. Let the knees be really heavy. Take the soles of the feet. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, tuck chin to chest. So this is a great opportunity to find the breath. Come to a steady pace, a long inhale and a long exhale. breath in to lift the chin and on the exhale we take it into the forward fold come all the way up take the knees at center let's come all the way down to your back and once you're down on the back, we'll take the same shape. So the feet to touch the knees wide, this time a hand on the heart and a hand on the belly. I just want you to feel the rhythm of your inhales and exhales. Close the eyes. Let everything go. Use this space on your mat to be free in the mind. and just breathe.
With your next inhale, fill the lungs up to capacity. Sigh your air out. Wrap the arms around the legs. Give a rock side to side. Take a light landing on your right side body. If possible, bring the center of your forehead all the way down to the mat. And then come all the way up to sit. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I release a couple of classes every week. I hope you're able to get outside today. And if it wasn't for yoga, hopefully it's for something else. Enjoy the fresh air. Be around some trees if you're able to. And don't forget to smile. See you later.